no time in the 10,000 years since the last ice age has the human race been in a state of constant knowledge and fixed technology. There have been a few setbacks like the Dark Ages after the fall of the Roman Empire. But the world's population, which is a measure of our technological ability to preserve life and feed it ourselves, has risen steadily with a few hiccups like the Black Death. There is no sign that scientific and technological development will slow down and stop in the near future. But the present exponential growth cannot continue for the whole of that millennium. By the year 2600, the world population would be standing shoulder to shoulder, and the electricity consumption would make the Earth glow red hot. So what will happen?
possibility is that we wipe ourselves out completely by some disaster such as a nuclear war. But even if we don't kill ourselves, there is the possibility that we might descend in a scale of barbarism and savagery. At the end of the second millennium, the world is inhabited by people who are much the same as those in the year 1000. By the year 3000 this may well no longer be true. There has been no significant change in human DNA in the last 10,000 years. But it is likely that we will be able to completely redesign it in the next 1000, whether we want it or not. In a way the human race needs to improve its mental and physical qualities if it wants to be only the increasingly complex world. As on the biological side, the limit on human intelligence up to now has been set by the slice of the brain that will pass through the birth canal. Within the next 100 years we will be able to grow babies outside the human body, so this limitation will be removed. We tend to see intelligence as an inevitable consequence of evolution. Bacteria do very well without intelligence. They even will survive us, if our so-called intelligence causes us to wipe ourselves out. Evolution will go on, even without us. <laughs>